in a different way Cause I have grown More than you can say Make believe You're my long lost lover friend And we'll go on On? Am I on? Am I on? <laughs> it's Felix! I uh See that? I shaved in that reflection this morning. <laughs> it's a light show! Look out! Yeah, so um, this is a big old hollow metal guitar. Uh, it was a John English design. Um, let's see, 1994 Fender Freddy Tavares Aloha Strat. John English prototype number two, built August 1994. There's a lot of information for you. Custom shop run. Uh, it was just 153 of these things. Uh huh. Uh, Hawaiian scene, you can see engraved into the front, and it's got crazy inlays and all kinds of stuff going on. There's a bird there, Fender logo, a couple of palm trees. Uh, it says Aloha on the 12th fret. Aloha, yeah. Okay, um, bird's eye maple neck, and three specially wound lace sensor pickups. That's why they're quiet, they don't hum like regular strats. Strat pickups. So in the Vox AC30, this is clean. I also noticed that these pickups are really low output. So even when I go to the rock amp, I need a lot of bad monkey, but we'll get to that. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Phil <laughs> And then I'm going into the fourth position. Oh. Middle pickup. Oh yeah, you got your. Uh. And then you got that pickup. Trouble pickup. And you also got like really, um, you get like, wait, that's wrong. Let's go to the rock camp. Only because this is why I'm doing the switch over. You'll notice that. Uh, because the pickups are so low output, even when I go to the rock amp, which today is not the Tone Master because people want to hear some other amps. So this is a 1954 Deluxe, an old Tweed amp. Um, it's 14 watts, it's cranked up, and it sounds pretty cool. But with this guitar, it's still kind of clean. So uh, you get like, it's, it's, you get the notes really ringing out without it getting too dirty. So it sounds kind of like a... You're not getting a lot of a lot of dirt, but if you throw in a bad monkey, the guitar rocks. Not it doesn't have to be the bad monkey. It could be an overdrive pedal or an MXR or a Boss or. But I use the Digitech Bad Monkey. And I also got a request for some living color on a tweet today. Uh!
a crazy soul liver, but I don't have near enough gain. Anyways, Vernon Reed was a guitar player in Living Color. Awesome rhythm player. Hated his solos. <laughs> That's just me, folks. Um, actually, I probably could appreciate them today, being a more, less judgmental kind of dude. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, let's see what else we got going on. Yeah! Okay, wait. Um, also got a request for Dio. Um, <laughs> Vivian Campbell, right? And Dio, first Dio solo record. Uh, there was a song called I don't have a keyboard player with me today, but uh, it goes. Oh, I still never found. Yeah. All right. And then there's a crazy solo in that song, but I don't know it. Um, but going back, I'm gonna take the bad monkey out and show you how you can do. Like, even you have a dirty amp going, but because of the low output pickup, I'm going to do an arpeggiated song. This is a Def uh, Leopard. Def Leopard, yes. Bring in a heartbreak, go something like... Dustin loves this song and I just ruined it. such a great progression and so many like it's not even it's so not rock but uh, they really made it work but that's it it's a dirty amp low up a pickup and we're getting a really cool arpeggiated part without using a clean sound or a clean amp and it's also I'm picking not as hard so what else we got here because we got a strat we got some mercy black mall <laughs> Man on a silver melon. <laughs> You're like, dude, do more! And I'm like, no, I'm running out of time. But hey. Fuck a fuck a fuck say! <laughs> Alright!